it's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness and once again it's time to do it with Hewitt. Today I want to talk about how to set up your own home gym because let's face it home gyms are just awesome. Some of the obvious benefits of having a home gym include saving yourself a hell of a lot of time, saving yourself money, you don't have the gym membership fees, um, all the travel expenses, parking etc, uh, less travel time which I just mentioned, uh, obviously that makes it extremely convenient which reduces the excuses you can make for not getting your workout in. Uh, you can choose whatever kind of music you want to listen to, like... And some people like to blast that in a gym instead of being forced to listen to it on your uh, iPod. So that's obviously a benefit. And you can have whatever toys you want to have in your gym. So all the accessories, chains, bands, uh, all sorts of different gadgets, you know, stuff you pick up off the side of the road. You can throw it in your home gym. It's there for you. It doesn't matter how it looks. It's yours. Uh, obviously, you can decorate it with whatever pictures you want, uh, bodybuilding pictures, uh, scantily clad uh, bikini models, whatever you like. So what are some of the basic pieces of equipment that you need to start your own home gym? Let me take you on a tour of my dungeon. Welcome to the Barbarian Stronghold. First, let me take you on a tour of the gym and talk about what I would recommend if you're just starting out with a basic home gym for beginners. This is the sort of equipment that I used when my main concern was space and cost. So this is what I recommend. First of all, just a basic floor mat for doing your floor exercises. A stability ball. Now, believe it or not, there are some good exercises you can do with stability ball if you're just starting out. Suspension straps. So some sort of exercise suspension straps. This is a pretty cool piece of equipment called the USA. Um, but you can also just use any sort of uh, straps. That, like I got these at Home Depot, car straps. Um, or like the Jungle Gym, the TRX, any of those. I'll post a link to that as well. Uh, next. You need some body weight training accessories so that you can get the most out of your body weight workouts. Because when you're first starting out, you're going to be using mostly body weight exercises and bands. Uh, so you need a chin up bar. Um, obviously, I have one on my rack, but when you're first starting out, when I first started out, I just used just one of those door mounted chin up bars. And I'll also post a link to that here as well. Um, and something to do dips on. Now, I really like these because they take up very little space, they attach onto my rack, but you can get the standalone dip stands as well. Um, or you can get a chin dip station. So they have these uh, units that have a chin up bar and dip bars all in the same unit. They take up very little space and you can usually get them used on like Craigslist or Kijiji uh, for very little money. Uh, in addition to that, bands are a great, great form of resistance that take up very little space and cost very little money. So I've got a bunch of powerlifting bands here and then even these very basic bands with the handles on the ends that come in different tensions are excellent if you're first starting out as well. So that would be my basics for starting out. Uh, and then I would progress up to using free weights for resistance. So the first thing I would get if you're starting out in a home gym uh, and you want to get into free weights is a 300 pound barbell set. Now these are pretty inexpensive even if you buy them new, but you can usually find them used as well. So getting some plates. Now I just had these upgraded to rubberized ones, but I started with some used metal plates that uh, were all rusted and I just cleaned them up. I got them for very inexpensively and uh, a good solid uh, Olympic bar. So a 300 pound Olympic weightlifting set would be where I'd start. Once you get your 300 pound weight set, then I look at a, an adjustable bench. And again, you can usually find these used if you check on uh, Kijiji or Craigslist. Now if you want to get into squats, you're going to have to have some sort of rack. Now the power cage would be your best investment if you have the space for it and the money. And you can again get these used or new. Um, but if you're just starting out, and what I used when I first started out were just the independent squat stands. So they're just like two separate stands that are adjustable. You can put the bar on, I'm sure you've seen them. I'll post a picture of that as well. Okay, now you can see over here, uh, dumbbells. So, you know, these aren't a necessity, but they're really nice to have. Uh, a barbell will work fine, but as you can see, I have Olympic adjustable dumbbells. I have the standard uh, adjustable dumbbells and uh, some preset dumbbells as well. You could get a whole rack of preset dumbbells, but that takes up a lot of space and is pretty expensive. Uh, now, my pride and joy of my home gym is the glute ham machine, so the, the glute hamstring developer. Not a necessity, but if you have the money and the space for it, uh, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, the final level of investment, if you want to get into it and you don't want to have a lot of free weights around, would be a functional trainer or a cable pulley machine. Uh, personally, I didn't see a need for that. Some people prefer to have it just a cable machine in the corner. It is pretty versatile. You can do a lot of exercises on it. Um, I opted for a cable uh, pulley attachment on the back of my rack. So if you can see here, I have an adjustable stack. goes up to 200 pounds. You can add weight 
onto that as well. Um, and that's a great accessory, definitely not necessary, but it does increase the number of exercises you can do. So it's a little bit more versatile. As far as cardio goes, I mean, I do have a stationary bike here, but in my opinion, really not necessary. You can do body weight exercises for cardio, such as burpees and jumping jacks, and mountain climbers, etc. You can go for a run. You can go for a real bike ride outside if the weather permits. So, you know, a lot of people start their home gym with like a treadmill or a bike. I would make that your last option in a home gym investment. And then you have all the gadgets and accessories as well. So you can have like an ab wheel, my uh, power wheel here. I find that comes really in handy for core training. And I have all sorts of accessories, belts, wraps, straps, um, all sorts of gadgets. I got my moon boots over here. Now as you can see over here, I have a number of different bars. Uh, the Olympic bars, hex bar, easy curl bar, and uh, a number of different attachments for my rack. Uh, those are optional. Once you start to build your gym and it evolves naturally, you might consider picking up some of that. Some other accessories that are great if you're just using body weight training as a chin dip belt where you can throw some extra weight on if you're doing your body weight exercise. And over here you see I have my weighted vest. And of course, don't forget chalk. Every good home gym needs some magnesium carbonate. Now if you're going to be training seriously, I'd also recommend you get some floor mats to protect your floor and also protect your weights. Uh, these are those really dense gym mats you can get there, uh, I believe, four by six. Uh, the rest of the floor is um, are those jigsaw mats. Uh, basically, uh, looks like this. I buy them in sets of four at like Home Depot or something. They're pretty cheap. This is actually the most important component of a home gym is a picture of Arnold. Okay, so make sure you get at least some picture of Arnold, even if it's just ripped out of an old magazine, and that will make your home gym complete. But the main advantage of having a home gym is that you can do whatever the hell you want to do. There's no gym Nazi looking over your shoulder telling you you can't use chalk or you can't listen to that kind of heavy music. So I hope you found that helpful if you're looking to set up your own home gym. If you have any questions, post them down below. And until next time, stay strong.